Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong and well. Now I've got to be feeling strong today. It's getting a little bit cold and I've brought you guys to uh, to Marsden Moor with me. So it's quite bleak as you can see out on Marsden Moor. But we have got a little bit of sunshine. The sun is just coming down. Just got enough time for this little vlog. And in this little vlog, I'm just wanting to share my experience to help others, my experience with MPB. What is MPB, I hear you ask? Well, MPB, don't know what it stands for. If anyone knows what it stands for, let me know, I haven't looked that up. But MPB is an online store, an online shop that buys and sells cameras and equipment. So basically you go online to their website and you select the item that you're wanting to uh, to sell. They've got uh, drop down menus on there, it's really easy to do. And in my case, of course, it was cameras. With cameras, of course, you have to get rid of them just at the right time when they're still worth something you've got some good use out of them and uh, when the new stuff is coming along so yeah i've got a, a bit of a, a journey to go on uh, on new cameras what do you think of the footage here we are on that camera that i was talking about before the best 1080p footage you have ever seen this is 1080p so what camera is this i will be revealing that uh, maybe i'll be keeping this camera but uh, yeah back to mpb um, yeah you go on their site you select the item you want to sell camera for instance and then you select what condition it's in again drop down menus and you've got choices like uh, good excellent as new and uh, and you select one of them Mine, of course, was as new. The best 1080p footage. <laughs> I have had some guesses already about what camera this is, and uh, not bad guesses, but uh, no one's got it yet. So you've selected your item camera, and you've selected the condition that it's in, and then you request a quote, and the quote comes through in a matter of minutes. Mine did anyway. Uh, it's easy. That's as easy as it is. I know what you're thinking. Why don't I use eBay? Well, I normally do use eBay. I've always used eBay up to now, but it's been a while since I have because I've been quite happy, well, almost happy with the camera that I've been using. So it's been a while since I've sold anything. I went onto eBay and the settings seem to have changed. The whole feel of it, the whole thing seems to have changed. Still got a little bit of daylight left. So yeah, eBay, something has changed. I had a couple of cameras on there for quite a few days. And when I checked, hardly any views on these cameras. And these were like trending cameras. The uh, DJI Pocket 2 and the uh, GoPro Max, they were on there. And reasonably priced. I don't put things up there not to sell. I'm happy to just put them at a really good price and buy it now. So that's how I normally do it. And I'm used to uh, the kind of views that I get for these type of cameras. Uh, hardly any views. Now obviously these cameras should have been snapped up and I knew that I just couldn't understand what was going on so convinced well to convince myself that eBay was doing something different I, I lowered the price of the cameras both cameras by 50 quid each that's a lot now there's no way these cameras shouldn't have sold. If I'd have done that previously, they would have been gone. I lowered them by 50 quid a piece, like I said, and uh, I left them on there for a whole day and they still didn't sell. Now, let me tell you, the cameras were listed correctly. I did go in thinking maybe I've listed them wrong. Maybe something's changed there, but I listed them absolutely correctly. So yeah, at a ridiculously low price for each camera, the views didn't increase, the views stayed just the same. I was so frustrated when I got a couple of emails from eBay telling me that I could boost my, uh, my advert, I could uh, get it seen by more people. Uh, I think that's what they're at, I think that's where they're going with this, that uh, I'm supposed to pay more, because that comes at a price. Uh, I'm supposed to pay more just to get my, uh, my advert actually seen, when beforehand, it just got seen by everybody. So I think that's where they've gone. I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. We are nearly at the end of it. The sun is actually coming down and I do need your help. So comment in the comments section below on this topic. That will help me and it'll definitely help others. People do read the comments. I certainly do. I mean, these are always just my opinions on this channel. <laughs> that's what counts. <laughs> no, but what really counts is your opinion as well and putting me straight and everybody else. So if you know what's changed with eBay and uh, can put me straight on this, uh, then maybe I will go back to eBay. But right now, uh, do you agree it's changed? Have you had the similar experience? Uh, what's, what's changed here? The things I do to bring you these views, absolutely wonderful views here as the sun goes down. Hope you're enjoying it sat at home <laughs> in the warmth. It is absolutely freezing up here on Mars de Moor. Now, I took the items off eBay and uh, decided to look for an alternative. And so here I am selling my cameras using MPB. 
tell me what MPB stands for. Does anyone know? <laughs> so I got my quote, of course, and I was happy with the prices. The prices are about what you'd expect to get on eBay. Are there any hidden charges? Well, I'll let you know. But that's where I, I got to, and uh, yeah. And then I arranged pickup, and you arrange pickup at uh, the address of your choosing. So I got it picked up from where I work. Uh, by DPD which is free so they arrived today and picked up my cameras and I got a tracking code and waved goodbye to my expensive equipment and uh, let's hope that I get the money and uh, we'll call this day one this is day one of my experience uh, let's see what day we come back on so it is day five five days have gone by it's day five of my experience with MPB selling my cameras. And we are at a different location. It might look similar, but uh, we are at Fixby Golf Course. Did you guess? Hmm. Well, maybe you did. <laughs> now, I say day five, that is actually including the weekend. I know what you're thinking. He's using that camera again, that fantastic camera, the best 1080p footage you have ever seen. <laughs> well, I think it is, it's pretty good. So I will be letting you know what this camera is. Keep guessing, keep guessing, I'm enjoying the guesses, but uh, I will of course have to let you know very soon. I am selling my cameras off. You've got to upgrade some time and I've sold a few of them off and tried a few others and uh, fell out with them. I am on a bit of a journey and uh, that's why I was using MPB to uh, get rid of some of my cameras instead of using eBay. So as I said, five days it took but that was including the weekend. And uh, so really it only took three days from start to finish. Now the communication was really good. Um, they emailed me regarding one of my cameras saying that uh, it wasn't actually in the condition that I stated. Well, I stated that they were all um, as new and they were actually right. This one wasn't really as new because it had a third party uh, charger so the third party charger was the main thing uh, maybe a little bit of dust by the lens they said on an element of the lens but uh, it wasn't new uh, but they downgraded that to uh, excellent condition it was definitely in excellent condition so they downgraded it and downgraded the quote a little bit just by a small amount and of course I had the choice to decline but I was happy with that so uh, I went ahead with that one now as I said previously I was selling three cameras um, one of them is GoPro Max, that sold no problem, and uh, the 360 camera that is. The other one, which got downgraded, which I just mentioned, was the FZ2000, the Panasonic FZ2000, brilliant camera. And um, the other one was the DJI Pocket 2. But, uh, but when I selected for the quote, when I selected the cameras, I accidentally just selected DJI Pocket, which was the previous older version of that camera. But do you know what? They picked up on it straight away that it was actually the DJI Pocket 2, the combo version, the, the one with the bundled in things. So they emailed me letting me know they were gonna upgrade the quote, more money in other words, and I was really happy with that. Do you know what? It's looking like it might rain. And this camera, it'll take a shower, but not a downpour. So if it does start raining, this vlog will end pretty quick. We are near the end anyway. So I really appreciate MPB picking up on the fact that I'd entered the camera in wrong. And it was actually a more expensive camera than I'd entered in. So yeah, MPB still don't know what it stands for, do you? So all that was left to do now was to accept the quotes and the slight adjustments to the prices. Now, as soon as I'd done that, it uh, prompted me to enter in my bank details for immediate payment. That's what it said, immediate payment. Yeah, that's right, they always say immediate payment, don't they? Well, was it immediate? Well, I'm pleased to report that yes, it was pretty much immediate payment. So if like me, you are fed up with eBay and all the changes and goings on there, and you wanna try somewhere new to sell your camera gear, that's all that MPB do cameras and camera equipment, then I can definitely recommend MPB. Because you are actually getting the same prices as you would get on eBay anyway, but without all the hassle, without having to deal with the buyers and the questions, and just eBay. Do you agree that eBay has changed? I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog, the scenery if nothing else. And if it's helped one person, just one person, confidently use this company, then job done. Well, it's just starting to get dark now. Where will I be next? Well, it's a good question. 
I don't have the answer to it. But what I do know is I want you guys with me. That's it for this one. Until the next one, bye.